the simple gear train we have a simple gear combinations like this this is a one gear and uh, this is a under gear and uh, we attach one more gear to this one like this and uh, we can have one more gear like this so like this we can attach so many gears you know um, depending on our uh, requirement so for example if it is uh, rotating in the clockwise direction and it's uh, externally engaged so that uh, this is also rotated in the uh, this rotates in the anti clockwise direction and uh, in turn this will rotate in the clockwise direction so this will rotate in the again uh, anti clockwise direction so whenever two externally you know engaged gears are rotating their directions are always opposite to each other that means if it is rotating in the clockwise this is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so that is the meaning of that one if i take internal internal gears what happens in that case the both gears which are in the engagement rotate in the same direction so here we have derived defined one more time is a speed ratio if i take this two let's name it as 1 2 and this is a 3 and then 4 and this is a 5 and uh, if it is uh, rotating like this this will rotate uh, like this so this is anti clockwise this is a uh, gear 5 is a clockwise direction so if i take uh, this uh, 1 and 2 so n2 by n1 equal to i need to write you know in terms of the number of teeth on this gear generally either number of the teeth on the gears or the diameters of the gears would be given so that we can find out the velocity ratio so in in most of the cases it's easier to find out the number of teeth on the gear because it's a simply you know counting those teeth on the gear if you could recollect what is the formula here that is omega by omega 1 so these two are in the proportion and these two would be in inversely proportional to the diameters and the teeth so here t1 by t2 here and uh, for these two set 2 and 3 so n3 by n2 equal to again t2 by t3 and uh, for the set 3 and 4 this is a n4 by n3 equal to t3 by t4 so if i multiply all these you know velocities so what happen here what happens this and this will get cancelled this and this will get cancelled so finally we got a n4 by n1 let's say this gear is not there gear 5 is not there we considered only up to the gear 4 so this is n4 by n4 n1 that means you no know, driven driven speed by driver speed so if i consider uh, gear 1 is a driver and gear 4 is a driven so driven speed by driver speed is generally called as a you know speed ratio this is a speed ratio so what is this value so speed ratio equal to we will get the speed ratio in terms of the you know number of teeth so here also this will this will get cancel and this this will get cancel so we will get a t1 by t4 so we are getting the speed value in terms of the you know driver and driven gear and uh, all other intermediate gears whatever you know missing here those are called as a idler idlers here why because they are just uh, transmitting the motion without affecting the final speed ratio here so whatever missing here in the right hand side of the formula those are generally called as a idler gears we need to remember this point because when you solving the problems instead of considering the left hand side we need to consider the right hand side to check you know whether any idler gears are uh, present in the given setup